Hey beautiful, welcome to the channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. It's your girl Farida and I'm so excited to have you here. We're kind of continuing on in a thread of what we started in last week's video. Last week's video we actually looked at how to make your own oil for treatments and today we're going to be looking at how to make a cleanser, an amazing recipe. And what I really love about this is that each of these packs their own punch but if you can only get your hand on one ingredient you are still winning. We're going to be going for some top tier Ayurvedic ingredients that are known to um, be astringent, to remove excess oil, to cleanse and condition all at the same time. So if that sounds good to you, please be sure to subscribe and also stick around for the rest of the video. Okay guys, so the first ingredient that I'm going to mention that you can use as a cleanser standalone or mixed into a super cleansing mask is Multani Mitti. Mitti means like soil or earth. So essentially it's kind of like a clay. So like if you imagine like Russell clay, um, that kind of a deal, super rich in minerals and a really great deep cleanser. It really is great at lifting the dirt and build up and product that you have throughout the week. And it is mildly astringent very 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 good cleanser um, and also strengthens the hair follicles at the same time. Siddha is also fantastic for um, cleansing the hair. I really love the study that um, showed that it increases follicular thickness and active follicular numbers as well in mice. So if you're having issues with your hair having shed for any of the reasons such as, for example, medication, uh, postpartum shedding, uh, maybe uh, alopecia, maybe just general thinning of the hair as you're going through the menopause, this can be really a fantastic option. It works very well. Like if you're going to be very aggressive with how you tackle it, you could use um, Siddha as your cleanser because as I said, it does increase your follicular thickness and the viable numbers as well. Um, and then you could follow up with an AMLA mask. AMLA is wonderful again for thickening the hair. There's been loads and loads of studies to show, uh, show that, lots of journal studies to show that it helps to thicken the hair. And when you compare it to minoxidil, it's actually better, but without the side effects. So they could be like a really good tag team. So Siddha would definitely um, feature as a cleanser in my um, ultimate hair cleansing mask. Siddha is also thought to help promote hair growth. So in addition to hair thickness, um, viability of follicles is also said to help boost your hair growth rate as well. If you've had experience using it before, please do comment below and let everybody know because I know people do look to the comment section for additional tips and our community is awesome like that. So make sure you comment below and let everybody know. The next I would say would be Retha. Aretha, also known as soap nut. This actually suds up really um, noticeably, uh, although be it mildly, um, if you're used to like shampoos that, you know, um, bubble up, it's not gonna be quite the same, but you're gonna be able to see that it forms bubbles because it is literally made from the soap nut. You can use a soap nut whole, um, you could boil it to um, extract um, the saponins, which are basically um, the elements within there that kind of bind to the grease and extract or you can just add water um, and I also like to use it in powder form as well so whatever you can get your hands on um, at Amazon or Indian store would be fantastic but yeah it's a very very good cleanser very nourishing and very strengthening like you know sometimes you use a shampoo and you feel like you know that whole process of wetting your hair your hair just feels like you know weak overstretched mushy, you're not going to get that when you're using these combos. They are super, super duper strengthening. Um, and that's what I love about it. You can tell a massive difference from the very first application. The Kai Kai, of course, features. It is one that has been in my arsenal for probably, I would say about 12 years. I have been using Shikai Kai on and off. It's a wonderful cleanser, very comparable to the likes of Amla for the strengthening capabilities. And it 
is a beautiful herb that not only cleanses, but it also conditions at the same time. So a really wonderful ingredient. You can get it whole, or again, you can use it in powder form as well. So here's how I'm gonna mix my cleanser. Okay, so I hope you found this video to be useful. Do comment below and let me know if you have tried any of these herbs, or if you go away and you make up this hair mask cleanser, come back and let me know how you get on with using it, what your experience is, etc. Really excited to hear your feedback because as I say, it is top tier ingredients. Also, stop by my store. I do stock a host of Ayurvedic oils, essential oils, and um, hair masks as well that you can pick up. And there is now a UK EU store as well as a US and international store as well. So definitely check them out and I will see you next time.